Hey guys, this is Oscar back at it again. Today I'm going to show you something simple, easy, and fixable. We're going to do the front brakes on this Nissan Sentra 2016 and the rotors. Um, make sure whenever you're working on a vehicle, you use safety precautions, do jack, use jack stands. And also, in case you're interested, I'm using the Wagner Thermal Quiet. I've always had awesome uh, experience with these brake pads, never let me down. Here's the part number if you're interested. Alright, so let me go ahead and jack up this vehicle. And then we'll get started step by step. Enjoy, guys. All right, guys. So now that we have the vehicle on jack stands, we're gonna go ahead and start by removing the tire. If you do have your uh, regular factory uh, hubcaps, go ahead and take them out uh, gently. Try not to go Donkey Kong on it. Turn them out slowly. This is going to be a 21 millimeter uh, socket. Take these off. Alright. Gonna take out this tire here. Okay, so the next step, in case you're only changing the front brake pads and you don't have to change the rotors, um, all you have to do, I'm just going to give an example, um, this is a 14 millimeter uh, bolt, we're going to we're gonna go ahead and remove that, once we remove it all the way, we're just going to go ahead and push this off and put it on the top of the, uh, hold, hold it in place so that way the brake line doesn't um, uh, rupture or kink or anything like that, so let me show you how that's done. It's just a normal 14 millimeter uh, bolt and then if this is again if you're only changing the brake pads you would just take this bolt out push uh, the caliper upwards and just slide it like so see that you don't have to take the top part out just slide it out um, and then I'm gonna use a caliper S shape holder to put in place like so so that way um, the brake line doesn't kink or it gets damaged so let me just put that out of the way and then again if you're just changing the brake pads you just get a flathead screwdriver and just pry out these brakes like so easy right here's this side this side and then all you would do you just change out the hardware these springs here and the bottom one take them out and then your new brake um, brake pads should come with the new hardware so you can install them and then you just put the brake pads back like so and then you just put the caliper back again that's only for changing the brake pads but since I'm showing you how to change the um, front rotors as well we're gonna go to an extra step okay so let's gonna get, get that done okay so the next step in order for us to remove the front uh, rotor we're gonna go ahead and remove this caliper bracket it's basically held in by two 19 millimeter bolts one right here the other one right there so let's go ahead and remove that real quick That's one. And that's the second one up there. Right there. So once we remove this brake bracket, um, we're going to be able to remove the actual rotor. As you can see, 
it just comes out by itself and there you go now what I'm gonna do um, I'm gonna check the minimum uh, requirement of this rotor if it's up to um, allowable I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and surface it resurface it or turn it um, normally it will tell you what the minimum depth so I'm gonna go ahead and look for that but um, one key thing I just wanted to kind of guide you guys as well take the time guys to um, clean once you remove this hardware here take the time to uh, clean this area especially if you have a lot of rust I'm here in California so it's not much um, rain here in beautiful Southern California but if you do happen to live in mid Midwest or in the east you definitely want to make sure you clean this and normally what I'll do I'll normally use a a wire brush and I'll just make sure I'll take the time to clean this up so that way when I put the new hardware um, it gets lighting easily and I don't have to worry about any rust that's going to go ahead and just build up there so just take the time guys since you're already doing this clean this really well so and then um, once you get that out of the way I want to give you guys another tip make sure you clean this um, guide pin and put some new uh, new, new some new grease on it so that way you could have the the brakes could easily go in and out when you do depress on the brake pedal and also don't forget um, to compress your piston all right I'm going to do that real quick but I have to go up in the hood open it and remove the brake cap and so that when I compress it whatever type of fluid all right guys this is the step I was talking about before you compress your piston just make sure you take the time to remove the actual um, reservoir cap just put something around it so that way if it does start to leak it doesn't get all over you know your components there so let's go ahead and compress that uh, piston real quick all right guys so there's a couple ways to compress this piston um, you know some people use a seat clamp some people use a special tool for it some people use um, you know whatever you have in your arson but for me just because I'm pressed for time um, I'm just gonna go ahead and use my um, special tool to compress this um, all it is I'm just grabbing this caliper like so and just putting this in place like so give me one second let me get you guys a better angle so you guys can see what I'm doing I'm doing I'm just using this tool here to compress this bad boy and again it's easy for me but whatever you happen to have on your arson um, you can use for me I just I just like doing things easy and I'm all I'm doing again let me get you guys a better angle I'm just slowly compressing the piston inside slowly taking my time all right there we go took a couple seconds and I'm just gonna put the caliper back all right I had it hanged up that's one way of compressing the piston and again I'm just going up here checking just to make sure all right guys so after checking the minimum thickness on the front rotors I was able to determine that I could still resurface them so that's gonna save the customer some money normally these rotors uh, they run you anywhere from 30 to uh, 48 dollars at your local auto store but today um, I'm all about helping my customers save some money so again I did check the minimum thickness of these rotors and uh, we're in good shape so I'm just gonna go ahead and get these rotors turned and then we're going to go ahead and install them on the Sentra, alright? Okay guys, so the next step, I already got my rotor on nice and turned and shiny. Um, what I'm going to do, 
I'm actually going to grab some brake uh, clean. I'm just going to go ahead and spray a little bit on this rotor. And I'm just going to wipe it down. And the next step I'm going to go ahead and install. And again, if you have your new rotor or you resurface your rotor, we're just going to get in reverse order. The only thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to put a uh, lug nut so that way it can hold the rotor at least in place. Um, so that way it doesn't fall off while I install the brake caliper. So let me go ahead and do that real quick. And again, just take the time, guys, to clean this really thorough. Believe me, it'll make a lot of difference once you are, once you put your new brake pads. If you have any gunk or any type of residue, just take the time to do it now. Oh, sorry about that. There we go. And again, this is one thing that you also want to look at to see if you have any grease in there. And if you do, we can definitely take it out and clean. Make it so that way, um, the actual... Let me show you. See this? Just take it out. We're going to go ahead and clean this and we're going to put. A, we're going to apply a little bit of uh, uh, synthetic grease in there. So let me go ahead and do that right now. And again, this is a, an, extra an extra step you could take. we're doing this right now and I'll actually be using I've been using this for years uh, from Tex so I make a stream break parts cleaner pretty good stuff so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply some just a dab here not a whole lot I'm just gonna put it back inside like so Alright, so put it back inside here, oh, let me clean this out too, any other excessive old grease, so I'm going to do this like so, I'm just going to take the excessive part out, and again, you want to get that nice spongy, I mean not spongy, but, you know, make sure the slide bug goes in and out without a problem. Alright, so we're good on that. And I'm actually going to do the same thing here uh, before I actually install the uh, piston, uh, caliper piston. So let me just go ahead and install the um, brake bracket there. And again, it's just going to go in reverse order. Show you here real quick. Like this. Now we're gonna put those um, 19 millimeter bolts. Let me get get you guys a better angle here. It's gonna go on the top in here. And I'm gonna go ahead and put the torque specs on the screen there for you, so that way you guys can see that. So let me go ahead and okay guys so according to Nissan uh, the brake bracket is going to be torqued at 47 foot pounds so let's go and do that real quick alright all right. there we go double checking it Perfect. All right, now the next step, we're gonna go and install the new hardware. And again, make sure you take the time, guys, to do this step. Get you guys a better angle. All right. 
about it. So these are pretty easy, common sense. We should make sure that they go in. Gonna, there's like some push pins here at the bottom that you should make sure you depress them. Let me show you here. See, that's basically straightforward. Do the same thing at the top. Oh, I almost forgot. There's a difference. Um, there's this part. These, uh, this hardware is going to go on top. So that way, um, the brake is kind of like a little safety kind of thing that will uh, keep the brake in here. So I'll kind of show you. So make sure this one goes on top. The one that doesn't have it, I'll show you. This is the similar uh, hardware that I put here. This doesn't have uh, this part. So this is going to go on the top. Like so. Alright. And then I'm going to take the brake pads. Get you a better, better picture here. Take the new brake pads. And the way we're going to go ahead and do this, okay, so the way we're going to do this, these top clips on both of them, these are going to go upwards. See how they're, they're not at the bottom? They're going to go upwards. So they're going to go in here like so. And do you remember what I told you about this front part here, this little clip? Once you install the actual brake itself, it's just another kind of, here, let me show you this is going to go in here like so okay so now that we install the new hardware uh, on the top and at the bottom we're going to go ahead and install the new uh, brakes just remember this is going to go on the top on on both of them uh, give me one second here gonna go like this this is gonna be on the top this is gonna be on the top there there's the reason why is because see this little um, clip here in here we're gonna go ahead and make sure that we stick this in here like so when we install it so let me show you get your better picture here this is this is gonna go in here and we're gonna go ahead and maneuver it and put this in here like so that's how it's gonna go just make sure that that clip right there it looks like that okay so before we even do that a um, couple tips here I want to give you guys I'm gonna go ahead and put some uh, brake parts lubrication on this um, for this one and for this one I'll put here some on the back side to give you an idea again this is what I'm using here I'm just going to put a little bit, not a whole lot. This is where the caliper uh, sits. There you go. So that way we can have like a quieter, quieter ride. Alright. And I'm also going to put a little bit down here. Just a, a, a little dab. Uh, not so much on that side. Because this is where it's going to slide at the bottom. It's a tiny bit, not a whole lot. Be careful not to put it on the actual brake pad. So this one is going to go here. And again, I don't know if you can see it, but I'm putting this uh, the part, the bottom part here in, in this hinge before I actually stick it inside. There we go. And let me show you on this side. Let me just get you a better angle, guys. And again, I'm only putting a little bit of um, this quiet here lubrication. Just so that way, when the caliper sits on this and it's metal to metal, it's a quieter ride there. Just a little bit, not a whole lot and a little bit here on the bottom just because it's going to be sliding here back and forth 
just a tiny bit being careful not to get it through to the actual brake pad and again we're going to loop this um, top piece in here like so got some here on the brake pad and clean that off we're just going to push it in oh, came back out like so that's basically how you want it to install make sure that this is inside here and then we're going to install the caliper but before we actually install the caliper let me go ahead and clean this part out like so and again this is the actual sliding bolt I'm only going to put a, a little dab of grease in there and again this is going to help it slide in and out really good alright so now we're going to put the caliper back and let me show you how that's done and get you a better angle alright we've got this here alright and again spread some out evenly here All right, perfect and to put this back this light bulb we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and just maneuver it here like so just gonna put it inside push it in at the same time you want to make sure that this is inside and then we're gonna go ahead and push it inwards like so and we're gonna go ahead and install back in reverse order and the torque for the bottom bolt it's gonna be uh, 23 foot pounds so let me go and okay. do that and again yep. just don't forget to make sure you put this little hinge in here and here on this side I don't know if you can see but it's also connected there as well Okay, and then again, we're gonna go ahead and torque this bottom uh, caliper 14 millimeter bolt to 23 foot pounds. So let me go ahead and do that here. All right, guys, I'm just torquing this 24 foot pounds. There we go. Perfect. Just want to double check. All right, guys. So basically, that's how you install your um, front rotors and um, your front brake pads. Again, I hope this uh, video helped you guys out. Um, please comment, subscribe. Uh, any feedback you give me, that'd be great. Um, so we can help our YouTube community. And again, thanks for watching. Have a great and blessed day, guys. Bye bye okay guys so after we're done um, this is a perfect time to check your uh, brake reservoir see how it's uh, kind of this is the max and it's a little bit full but before you start taking out any uh, fluid don't forget the last step we gotta pump our brakes so the first time it's gonna go all the way down make sure you give them a couple pumps and let's just start getting harder like that so i want to go ahead and thank you guys again for watching this and uh hope this helps you guys other than that have a blessed day guys take care